Welcome back everyone! If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon as we are your number one place for the latest Elon Musk, SpaceX, Starlink, and space-related news. Elon Musk and SpaceX, both of which are making great strides with Starship, are now ready for the orbital flight test, but they're encountering a big barrier. The only arbiter in the tussle of permission for SpaceX to send its Starship to orbit for the first time is the Federal Aviation Administration, the FAA. Join us as we examine what the FAA just did with SpaceX, how Elon Musk will react, and will this be the final challenge the FAA poses for SpaceX? All this and more in today's episode. With Starship, the hope of a whole nation rests upon its shoulders. At the cost of $2.9 billion, the Starship will carry out the crucial step of dropping astronauts off on the surface of the moon. This trip is going to be historic because it will achieve many firsts. It's the first time a female astronaut will walk on the moon. It'll also be the first time an African American will step on the moon. That's not the end of NASA's use for the Starship, however, as the Project Artemis is a stepping stone to Mars. If the Starship delivers on this moon mission, NASA will use it to put astronauts on the red planet. In doing so, Musk's dream to send millions of explorers to Mars to live there permanently will come true. That's not a small undertaking as he reckons he needs to move 1 million people from Earth to Mars for his permanent occupation to be feasible. This requires transporting both cargo and people over vast distances in space. Musk needs to move much equipment, a lot of equipment like nuclear micro-reactors for producing electricity and other machinery required to keep people alive. All of that will be done by Musk's giant spaceship, Starship, with a total height of 120 meters and a diameter of 9. This beast of a rocket can lift more than 100 tons to low Earth orbit with the help of about 35 Raptor rockets that each produce 2 mega newtons of thrust. But Starship won't get anywhere until it makes its first test flight into orbit. The FAA will perform an environmental assessment of SpaceX's facilities and operations in Boca Chica, Texas. And so SpaceX has to wait until March 28th to find out if the FAA is giving it clearance to launch Starship flights. The agency is conducting an environmental assessment of the company's plans to launch the massive reusable vehicle out of the facility and looking into whether it will have a significant environmental impact on the area. This isn't the first time the agency has moved its target date for completion either. That review was initially supposed to be done by December 31st. But a few days before the deadline, the FAA pushed the estimated completion date back to February 28th. Now, the FAA has updated the project page to reflect the new target date and explained that the delay is to account for further comment review and ongoing interagency consultations. The agency received over 19,000 public comments on the draft version of the review published in September last year. The timeline shift probably doesn't come as a shock to SpaceX or its founder and CEO Elon Musk. During a live-streamed Starship update, for example, Musk said the company has gotten sort of a rough indication that an FAA approval may be coming in March. If that does indeed happen, don't expect a long wait before Starship's first ever orbital attempt. So right now, I think we're, we're tracking to have the um, regulatory approval and hardware readiness around the same time. Approval isn't the only possible outcome, of course. The FAA could decide that an environmental impact statement, a more in-depth and time-consuming review, is needed for the activities at Starbase. If that ends up being the case, then the first Starship orbital test flight would likely take place from Pad 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida's Cape Canaveral, Musk said. So uh, we actually are approved from an environmental standpoint to launch from 39A. Uh, so I guess our worst case scenario is that uh, we would, uh, I don't know, be, be delayed for, for six, six or six to eight months uh, to build up uh, the, the Cape launch tower and launch from there. 
Because of the complexities and great expectations, SpaceX has to test the Starship before putting it into action thoroughly. It can't afford to fail. SpaceX has carried out dozens of tests on the Starship, but those were all relatively short hops that reached a maximum altitude of about 6.2 miles or 10 kilometers. After several prototypes that have crashed and burned, SpaceX finally landed the Starship with the SN15 prototype. So the upcoming orbital flight is something to look forward to. It will go much higher and farther, and it will mark the first time a Super Heavy is involved. But sooner or later, it all depends on the decision of the FAA. Now, will this schedule continue to be pushed back? Yes, likely. I have a feeling there will be another delay. Michael Baylor, a livestream producer for NASASpaceflight.com, creator of the Next Spaceflight app, shared an environmental assessment update for Starbase. While EA completion set for March 28th, the Endangered Species Act consultation and the Section 106 review have been pushed to March 27th, previously listed in the mid-March timeframe. Now, I can't tell you if this is a good or bad sign because it's good they haven't delayed the EA completion yet, but it's also bad because they probably will. And many people have expressed frustration because of this change. It seems like they can not they can just push back these dates indefinitely. Are there any limits to their ability to delay? What's your thoughts? Is this the final schedule of the FAA? That's the end of this episode. We would like to see your reaction and your thought under the comment sections. Thank you and see you next time.